In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what it takes to start your very own outdoor mural. And I, at the very end of this video, I'm also gonna show you a supply list, a full checklist of everything you need to get started. So um, I hope you enjoy the video. Now let's get started. So for those of you who are new to my channel, Welcome, I am Jenna Rice. I'm a full-time muralist based in Greensboro, North Carolina. I uh, travel all over to create murals. Uh, actually, currently, right now, I am in Florida working on some projects and also visiting some friends. My friend Nicole is here, and she's over there. <laughs> she's saying hello. Um, I'll get her in the video later. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm here in Florida, and I am working on this project for Biscuits and Benedicts. Biscuits and Benedicts is a new breakfast and brunch joint in Lakeland, Florida. So I was actually hired by the Lakeland CRA. Um, they have a, a Lakeland mural project um, going on right now where they're hiring artists to help beautify the city. So let me explain some supplies you're gonna need. Um, here I have all my stuff together. Uh, be sure to have like an external charger of some sort. So that's, that was that white thing there. Plenty of brushes, uh, naps for your rollers. You need some bucket paint for the background. I have some acetone there, some tape. Uh, keys to my car, of course. Uh, plenty of buckets of paint. Uh, and also, don't forget to bring some business cards. Um, it's always good to have, you know, people are gonna wonder what you're doing. Uh, I bring my tripod always, and then also tarps. And uh, these handy dandy things are great. Um, you can have, they're just like kitchen scrubbers or something, I don't know, but um, they work really well for cleaning your brushes. And my handy dandy bar tool. Um, that's actually for opening paint, paint cans. Um, and a closer look at the naps that I got for the rollers. Um, I actually have some different textured ones. I have a sponge one there. This textured one was interesting. I found it at Lowe's and we're gonna try it. So also be sure to wear sunscreen, very important. All right, well, close my car and uh, off to the wall. So first, when you arrive at the wall, be sure to look at the texture of the wall to see what kind of naps you will need for your rollers, uh, whether it be three quarter inch or an inch or you know all the other ones. Uh, if you want more information about that in a, a later video, I'd be happy to do that for you. Just uh, go ahead and put that in the comments. So be sure to cover all areas that you're not going to be painting on, um, including the ground. Be sure to put tarps on the ground, even, even if you're outside, it's just, it's just a responsible thing to do. You don't want to drop any black paint or spill something accidentally and have it all over their concrete, their nice, beautiful concrete that they have. Um, just to be respectful um, and kind to other people's spaces. So I go ahead and open my bucket of paint, uh, my main background color get my painting liners out. You might actually wanna use gloves or wear gloves while doing this. Um, I didn't because it was super hot out, um, but that will all also protect your, your hands and stuff. So delightfully pour that in there. So I always keep um, a huge box of shop towels in my car. Um, you can use painting towels or you know rags or whatever. Uh, but I don't like to keep my buckets super messy, so it always helps to wipe off the top after you take off the lid and pour it. And you can tape off your edges, but just be sure, you know, it, this actually happened to me uh, on this project. If you tape your edges, there is a chance that if you paint right up against the edge that it is going to go underneath the tape, um, especially if it's like kind of a rough or textured kind of surface, which this one is. Um, so you might just want to, I don't know, I guess hand paint your lines um, as close as you can to the edge. You just need to be careful. Uh, but here you see me kind of like rolling on the first layer and here for the second layer, I'm using this um, textured nap as I told you. So here we have a nice layer of yellow over this uh, super, super light whitish yellow, that green color that's underneath. Just creating a fun textured background. You can do textured background or, or not, you know, of course that's up to you, but that's just what I decided to do in this project. Uh, just to kind of show you how I got started. I've also created a full uh, mural painting day checklist for you. Uh, something that you can have um, 
of your own in the morning, you know, when you're getting ready or the night before when you want to gather your supplies together. Um, it's a full checklist I'm talking, including like his phone wallet. So you can't forget anything. <laughs> Hopefully I have everything on here. I mean, if you read this list and you find that I'm missing something important um, that you think should be on there, definitely put that in the comments for me. I'll be sure to add that to my PDF. But uh, yeah, there's a full download. Um, actually, if you look in the description of this video, you can go ahead and download that PDF. In my next video, I'm actually going to include supplies that you're going to need when you're ready to start spray painting. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Please feel free to click that subscribe button. I would love for you to do that. If you wanna learn about mural art and what it's like to be a full-time muralist, um, it is really a good option for you because I'm, I'm gonna be posting some more videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for the rest of the year. Um, so get excited about that. Uh, click that notification bell so you're notified every time I drop that new video. Um, and please click that like button if you liked this video. If you have any questions for me, put those in the comments below and I will be sure to answer as soon as I can, personally. Yep, just a little old me. Anyway, um, so what is, what is it that I always say? Oh yeah, remember to stay peaceful as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired, be an influence, and make something beautiful today. Peace. Is that good? Yeah, it was really good. It was really good.